the general concept of ACL is you create these tunnels in the tibia and femur through which you pass and then secure the ACL. Sure. So what I do is I drill a tunnel up into the tibia. Um, and for me, that's a full tunnel. Mm-hmm. Um, and that will be sized to the same what the graft is getting sized on the back table. Usually it's about 10 millimeters around. Yep. And then I'll drill a blind socket or a, 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 you know, an ended socket rather than a full through. It'll be drilled to a depth of 20 or 30 millimeters, something like that. Again, size to the graft, maybe 9 or 10 millimeters. Yep. So then when I bring the graft up, it comes up through the tibia and then gets dunked into the, into the tunnel in the femur. And then because it's kind of got an, an end point, you know, it kind of stops there. Yep. And then, again, we can kind of go into more details. Depending on the graft type, it, there's different ways that you then fix the graft in place. Right. So when you're doing a bone tendon bone, a BTD, a patella tendon, you got this nice bone plug. So what I'll do is I'll then insert a screw, an interference screw, to kind of pinch that bone in the tunnel and secure it that way. Sure. When it's a quadriceps, there's no nice bone for that drill or for that screw to just like lock into. Yep. So what we do is we use a button. So the button will actually pass through that blind socket, go up, and then flip on the other side of the bone. And then it can resist back, and then you can kind of tension and pull the thing up that way. 